As the downtown councilman, I want to proclaim that the state of downtown is strong. Those words coming from Bakersfield City Council member Andre Gonzalez at the state of downtown breakfast. This comes as downtown keeps growing. Gonzalez announcing an additional 49 housing units on the way through a new complex called the Q. Senator Shannon Grove even telling 23 ABC how Assembly Bill 140, which passed last year, will bring a 125 bed transitional housing facility to the city serve property in downtown. And 36 of them have been set aside for emancipated foster youth so we can help people transition back into being productive members of society. There'll be accountability, wraparound services, mental health services. With more neighbors and businesses comes extra efforts to keep them safe. The owner of In Your Wildest Dreams, a local consignment store, says the Block to Block project, which started about three and a half years ago, has been a part of that. Because, you know, there were several of us that were loud and proud, and we truly were defeated. We had nowhere to go. We didn't know what to do. We had no idea what our government was doing. We had no idea how our police department worked. It was a Block to Block program. Well, what is that? Well, it's a communication system between neighbors. The Downtown Business Association's president and CEO, Melanie Farmer, and says there are 85 a, a block captains representing 500 the businesses, which looks to keep the 300 square block radius of downtown informed about celebrations or concerns happening in the area. Plus, a lot of downtown businesses have security cameras, and they work in conjunction with the city and police department. It's really helped the businesses with the feeling of they're not alone, that they're all going through the same thing, and then when it gets too rough, that they have them to rely on and to lean on when they're going through rough times. This month, a pilot program kicking off with ONA security systems, just one of the efforts to make downtown that much more safe. They're offering their services for the next six months right behind me on 19th and I Street, as well as on 20th Street, right here in Wall Street Alley, as well as over here on Chester Avenue. And then eventually they'll even expand their services to Westchester. The presence is having, like most companies you see lately, they have security guards. With ONA, they're able to detain and they're able to carry a weapon. Um, which at nighttime, when you get the nighttime area, yeah, it gets a little rough out there. So it really, the businesses have really seen a big difference.